this is my toxic trait my toxic trait is buying and trying a bunch of different cookware and kitchenware items and now i'm going to be opening the our place cast iron pan just a year or so ago i did an unboxing of the our place regular pan that they have spoiler alert i ended up not keeping it because it was not big enough for my family size and also i'm very tough on pans and so it just didn't fit my lifestyle but cast iron let's talk about it if you're new here my name is tiffany and before we get started i need you to hit any of the buttons follow subscribe all the things depending on where you're watching this because i appreciate it and thank you before we get into the nitty-gritty about the r place pan let us address the elephant in the room let's just be honest with ourselves and say that the r place pan is very much built on aesthetics people that like the r place pan me included are probably attracted to it because it's a freaking beautiful pan most of the things that they make are very beautiful and aesthetically pleasing and looks very very nice on your stovetop but there are plenty of other companies out here that make cast iron pans so make non-stick pans and different you know non-toxic ish pans and all that stuff that said i'm not going to go back and forth with folks that are just going to say like hey you can get a cast iron pan from tj maxx this video is not for you this is for those who already know all those things and still love the pan and want to know more about it like myself so let's proceed open up the box this is what it looks like it has a cover right here it has the natural sponge it has this spatula and this is what the glass cover looks like it has like a knob at the top and it seems really sturdy this is what the pan looks like out the box oh yeah there's also two pot holders supposed to have eight different functions so freaking pretty one of the main selling points that i did like about this one compared to the other original r place pan is the fact that you can put this in the oven so this is editing tiffany i filmed that a while ago and since then our place has released the always plan 2.0 this is the original one and this does have the ability to be put in the oven but it's not cast iron okay so just letting you know yes you can do that with other cast iron pans but are they this pretty also some cast iron pans do not come with a cover which is needed in certain dishes that you're making now i said the original one was too small for my family but hear me out I'm now teaching my son how to cook and so some of the very very large size pans are not really great for his like learning experience so i'm going to try to teach him different things now using cast iron stainless steel and maybe some of the less toxic non-stick pans which is a whole other video i'm not going to go into it right now quite honestly i completely destroyed the first one <laughs> So that's that. This one in contrast feels way more sturdy compared to the original pan. It is a lot heavier. The original one had a very light colored um, internal layer that it had with the, the coating that it had, which will make it more forgiving overall. Now I've not used it, that will be another video. I am looking forward to trying it out. Watching this during the holiday season, it is on sale. I will put the link in the description box, comment section, all the things, but if you're watching this some other time of the year, I may or may not have some sort of coupon code, so check in that area too. If you're thinking, is this worth the money? That's all subjective. But off of first impressions, comparing it with my experience with the original pan, I would say if you're between the two of them, I would probably go with this one. For the, I don't know how many times, make sure that you follow and come back so that I can tell you my actual user experience. Okay, so I'm gonna go because I gotta go feed these kids. Thank you for everything and see you next time. Bye.